The Death Fat Forum, also a standby. Um, they're all fat and they're all annoying. Let's check out some. Uh, here is an update on Chantal. I've not talked about Chantal in forever because she's actually very boring right now. She has, for some reason, changed her name to Miriam, Everyday Miriam, to be precise. I do not know why she has done this. She This is the longest that she's managed to change her um, her name and not immediately change it back. Uh, she has been trying for a while to distance herself from Foodie Beauty, because Foodie Beauty is not a good name. Foodie Beauty is something that you search on YouTube or the internet and you find all these terrible articles about what a fucking retard she is. Um, and it's very unflattering. So she's tried multiple times to um, get away from this name. And one of the, one of her longstanding efforts is that she puts out these extremely boring travel blogs with uh, her husband, Salah. And this is on a brand new channel and the comments are like ultra sterile. Like every comment must be approved and uh, anything even slightly negative, slightly linking back to foodie beauty is like removed. So it's ultra squeaky clean, sterile, puerile, boring fucking content. Whereas the, um, her main channel is not so squeaky clean. She's now doing, she's busting out mukbangs again. Oh my God. There was a brand new, 12 inch teriyaki subway sandwich mukbang a mere 14 minutes before i open this so she's out there um eating again because that's what makes the money she doesn't make money from her other shit she only makes money from doing eating videos which is why her videos are all eating videos now uh, so she's basically in a holding pattern but less interesting unfortunately this is a good one. This is uh, simply Sarah. Also, Sarah Potter. No relation. Um, I hope. <laughs> uh, she's famous for the Wanda's macaroni salad, which I will not play you. However, she has put out some recent videos. Surprise, surprise. She is not dead. She's still around. Um, and I figure we should watch some uh, cooking videos. Actually, I can do a poll on this one, even though we're very far behind. Um, actually, you know what? This I will not do a poll. I've decided democracy is gay, and we're just going to watch this one because this one looks worse. This is called guacamole with cream cheese. Let's take a watch, chat. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Sip and Sarah. Today on the show, a subscriber sent me your recipe to try. She knows I love guacamole. Um, and then it says guacamole with cream cheese. So I'm going to say in the title, guacamole with cream cheese. So I've got two ripe avocados, one block of softened cream cheese, and I'm just going to take a fork and start mashing. I'm breaking up my avocado into my cream cheese. Make sure you get a good ripe. Now if you want to just put a salt in a blender, you can. I'll get you a your hand mixer out. I'm just gonna mash. If you want it real smooth, I would suggest blend it, okay? I like my chunky, smooth, that doesn't matter. I love guacamole. What is that that she's giving on? Now, we're gonna do some salsa. I've got salsa. some homemade salsa here. Usually you don't, am I wrong to say that you usually don't mix tomato salsa and like avocado? Is this wrong? Is that the word? Two tablespoons of that. I have cream cheese mixed. Mmm, the Pfizer cheese. That's my favorite. On the side. This is some leftover quesadilla. So you need some sour cream and salsa too. By the way, in case you're wondering, uh, two tablespoons. I don't know if I missed it, but now don't worry about the recipe. It's going to be written out. I think that um, they're all diabetic in this family now, so they try to do like ketogenic diets. 
So, but like cream cheese, avocado, and salsa for the most part is pretty like keto friendly. I know that some tomato is like sweet and you don't want to, but you can, you can boil out the sweetness usually. So I don't know. Go down under the video. Salt, pepper. Skip ahead a little bit, spare you guys. Might go to, um, the site's being slow, I might go to the YouTube link. It could just be my internet that's slow. You know how this is. Yeah, the, the color is terrible. The color is very unappetizing. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another... Who's, they always say we need Mexicans for their food. The this is what this is what your Tex-Mex will look like without those base Mexicans. What is she scraping out? Why is she doing this? Is she regretting adding an advertising? What is this? Why is she doing this? This. Oh, no, the wrong you. Let me see if I can pull out some of this. Oh, she, it is. She put in an ingredient that she didn't want to add. So she, instead of, <laughs> because that's like $40 of avocados now in the U.S. She has to like go in and like pull it out because she fucked up. Does <laughs> she put oh. cheddar cheese powder in it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she's fixing this. She fixed it. It's all fixed, guys. Don't worry about it. You're not creepy, but so, what is your way in? Okay, let's shut this thing and put that away. So I won't add any more of it. Okay, a little bit of onion powder. And then I need my black pepper. Okay. Let's see ya. Black pepper. All right. And then that's everything, so now just... The female Jack Scalfani? That's probably true. That's probably an adequate comparison. Jack Scalfani and Sarah are probably pretty close in terms of what they are. So I think that Simply Sarah has beaten her children list. That is an awful, 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 awful color. That light green paste, chunky paste, is like not a, not a color or texture that you would ever want to put in your... um. Yeah, once in front of somebody's food. Now, if you want to grate some fresh, so, but, well, she got some tortilla chips. Chill. That's good. That's oh. keto. Nice. You can see those beatus knuckles real well. Uh, I'm sure that'll be cured up soon with this highly ketogenic, non-diametic <laughs> guacamole that she's making. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!